A push button is a very simple sensor that can only detect two things, whether it is pressed or not. If used to control an LED, it acts like a switch which opens and closes the circuit, allowing voltage to be supplied to the LED once pressed and cutting it off if not. In this video, you will learn how to program the push button to do just that. The pseudocode for this program might look like this. Before showing you the actual codes, I would like to highlight two words here that control the structure of the pseudocodes, the words if and else. In English, these are called transitional devices that are particularly used when trying to show conditions that need to be met before an event can happen. For example, if it is raining, I will bring an umbrella. Else, I will leave it at home. Here, the use of else tell us another event that will happen if the first event did not occur, as in, leave the umbrella at home. In Arduino, if and else are rightfully called conditional statements. If written using actual codes, the program will look like this. Looking at this code will introduce you not only to the if-else control structures, but as well as to the digital read function. But first, let's take a look at the void setup block. In this program, we are using a push button which takes input from the environment, hence need to be declared as an input device. Meanwhile, the LED is made to react to the data coming from this sensor, which makes the LED an output device. The push button and the LED are connected to pins 2 and 3 respectively. Hence, the pin mode functions for the two devices were written that way. However, after declaring a device as an input device, you also need to specify if you want this device to turn on or off during the start. This is done by the digital write function. When de dealing with input device, the high and low modes are reversed, with high meaning that the push button is off during the start. If you look at the void loop function, you will see the if-else structures in action. The if control structure uses the following syntax. If the condition inside the parentheses is met, or in Arduino language, true, then the statement inside the curly braces is performed. The else control structure has the same syntax, but the statement under it will only be executed if the condition stated in the if structure is not met or is false. In this program, the condition that needs to be met for the LED to be turned on is button is pressed. If this condition is false or is not met, the LED remains off. This condition is written in Arduino language this way. The digital read function requires only one parameter, the pin in which to take the reading of the data from. Since the push button is connected to pin 2, you can see 2 enclosed in a parenthesis. This is followed by the comparison operator, double equal signs, which is the Arduino language for equal to. Of course, low means that the push button is pressed or turned on. In short, the whole line of code read like this. Is the push button in pin 2 being pressed? If this is true, then the if structure performs its statement. But if false, the else structure will perform its own 